Hello, and welcome back to 14 Days of Solitude. This is Karina and Deanna. Hello, guys. Hello. So we are at day 14. This is it. This is the last day. Uh, we have been teaching you 14 coping skills and strategies over 14 days to help you build up your resiliency during times of crisis. And I've been having a really good time, especially just being able to connect with you, Vienna, each day and have something to work on and create with another person. It's just really been so helpful for me. So I'm going to be very sad after this is over. <laughs> I, feel, I feel the same way. Thank you for doing this with me. I know. I feel like it really brought us closer. And yeah, so thank you so much. Um, but today is day 14. And today we invite you to our coping tool for today is called make a plan. So it's one thing if you're dragging your feet into something that you're resisting and you're trying to put blinders on that something's not happening or, you know, that that's, that's one way to do it. But there's another way and you can think ahead and you can plan ahead a little bit. And obviously right now in a time of crisis, it's going to be really hard to plan long term. Like you don't want to be planning any trips because um, we don't know when this is, you know, this time of quarantine is going to end. So we're going to acknowledge that with our day today, even though it's make a plan, we're going to acknowledge how hard it is right now to make long term plans with so many unknowns. But I do, we do want to invite you to make small daily plans. Okay. And asking yourself a, a bigger question such as, how do I want to show up today? Okay. How do I want to show up today? Whether it's a feeling word or whether it's a task that you want to do, um, whether it's a way that you want to be with your family, how do I want to show up today? Hmm. There's another question you had. Yeah, no, what was that question? Another question. It's a bigger question. Um, but who's the person that I want to be? You know, what, what steps do I need to be taking daily to become that person? Yeah. Okay. So acknowledge that for yourself. Who's the person that I want to be? This is a, this time of solitude is a time of reflection. So this is the time to step back. And if there is something that you want to shift for yourself, just know that it's possible. It's very much possible. And hopefully things are slowing down enough for you to see how that could be possible. I think the first thing you need to acknowledge is what it is that you want and what it is that you want to feel. And I always like to say, Say why, why do you want it? Okay, that's a little practice that I have for people is to acknowledge what, so what, what you want, what you wanna feel, why you want it, um, you know, what you appreciate about it, and then always asking what is my next step, right? What is that next step to get there? Uh, and the thing that you really shouldn't be thinking about because you don't have control over is the how, the when, mm -hmm. the where, and the who. Okay, so there it's depending on what your thing is, but those are the things that we don't have control over, right? Maybe the thing is, it's like, well, I want to be in a relationship. You don't know who that's going to be. So just let that go off to the universe, okay? Who? You don't know when, right? When we're going to put aside. Where, you know, where is another one you don't have control over always. And then how actually is co-created. I do believe that every time you ask, what is my next step? The how is given to you and then you take the action. So that is something in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is, to me, this is co-creating. This is how we become the person and do the, all the things and manifest the life that we want is that's how we show up. Mm -hmm. um, but so that's the more spiritual side of things. And so we do want to also bring in the more tangible th side of things. And I want to invite you with today to think about the the, the agreements that you need to put in place, the legal paperwork that you need to put in place for things like if something happened to you or a family member, okay? And I, we don't mean to be grim bringing this up, but it's a reality. And I think the more prepared you are for any case scenario, I think it'll help relieve any anxiety as well. But, um, cause I know when my dad passed away, there were some things that were not figured out cause he passed suddenly he had a heart attack. And it was hard for my mom to make decisions and get into certain accounts because she didn't have access to them. So just know that the more you can create things like a will or defining legal, legal guardians for your children, um, setting up life insurance, stuff like that, 
this is all going to help the people who will still be here if something happens. Um, again, don't mean to be grim, but this is a reality that we all need to look at right now and just know that you can do this with someone if it's hard for you to look at it. Right. Yeah, this is, you know, Karina and I are both very spiritual, but we also have to come to the real world, you know, the reality, not that spirituality isn't real, right? But come into the world that we live in today. And we need to set up things like this um, so that our families you know, receive the help that they need when and if we aren't here with them one day. Um, so another thought with that also is, you know, God forbid something ever happen. Who do I want to make sure I tell I love them? You know, just thinking about all those people because this is this is real life stuff, whether this you know, the coronavirus was happening or not right now, this is something that we can choose to connect with at any time because we do not live on this physical realm in this life and with this identity forever. So it's just reality. Who do I want to make sure I connect with and really tell, you know, the impacts that they've had on me? Um, and maybe this could even this could be kind of creating a bucket list if it's possible. You know, this, we don't know when again that things can happen, but, you know, maybe just some more goals. What are some things that I want to make sure I do in my life? We have the time right now. Why not create a little bucket list as well? As well? Yeah, for sure. And you brought up something in my head just around who can I forgive today? Mm -hmm. Good one. Can I forgive? Like, there's so, we're so, so many of us are just holding on to so many past hurts and burdens and pains. Mm -hmm. And whether it's ourself with not reaching a goal or not being a certain way or a certain person at a certain age or timeline, it's like, oh man, just forgive, like, be willing to forgive yourself. And if you can't forgive yourself, just be willing to forgive yourself. Or if you can't be willing, be willing to be willing. And sometimes I get people on that one. <laughs> but, you know, if whoever has hurt you in your past, just give, let this be an opportunity for you to forgive them. It doesn't have to be to their face. Um, it could just be in your own heart because them, if, if you have not forgiven them yet, you're still just carrying that pain in you and it's really just hurting you. It's not hurting them. Mm -hmm. uh, so now what? Okay, so we are tying up these 14 days and we want you to invite you to think about what your next steps are, okay? What are you gonna do once the series ends? How are you gonna keep the momentum going? What are you gonna do to continue to practice these coping strategies um, or learn other ones? Are you gonna start over, right? You can start over from day one and go back through it again and you're probably gonna get a whole lot, you're gonna probably get things that you completely missed the first time. Um, you know, every time that I look at even my own things, I get something different or even at a different, deeper level. So we invite you to maybe go back through the series. Please share this series with people if you found it helpful or if there is a specific day that really helped you. Please tag a friend, um, share it with a family member, anyone that you think this could be helpful for. You know, we really want to reach as many people as we can to give them what they need to, to be stronger, to be resilient, to know that they can get through anything. And of course, remember, if any questions come up, feel free to contact one of us. Um, we're still offering our free 30-minute calls if you need any help with any of the coping activities that we provided for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Just make a, a little note, you know, let us know that you are watching the series and you wanted to take advantage of having that 30-minute call. So no matter when you're watching this, even, even though if you're not doing it as we're, as we're recording on the initial 14 days, we're gonna offer that even past the 14 days. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're here. Um, and also uh, I want to invite each of you, if you like these daily uh, tools or coping strategies, I have a membership program, it's called Energy Tools for Empaths. And during this time, I wanna offer it at half off. So it's usually $99 a month for the membership. I wanna offer it $49 a month so that everyone can access that. Um, the program includes 45 plus energy tools. So they're in the form of a meditation, but just, you don't, it's not a, necessarily a meditation. It's a practice. You can literally do it standing in your kitchen. You can do it while someone's talking to you and you're being triggered by them. Um, something they're, ma they're making you angry. So instead of continuing 
the anger, you practice one of the tools, to either ground yourself or turn on your inner light or put a rose in front of you, okay? Literally, so many energy tools, especially if you're a bit, someone who is very good at visualizing. Um, it's, it's a way of working with the energy so that you can shift and move the energy and you're not, you don't get stuck in the energy. Um, I know a lot of empaths who have reached out and come into my community recently, they've been saying that they want to know, like, how do I handle other people's energy, you know, I, you know, or like surprise attacks or just like criticisms that have come out of left field or, you know, how do you, how do you like re re rejuvenate your energy? Um, if something like that happens and these are what the energy tools are all about. They're going to teach you how to set those energetic boundaries. They're going to teach you how to strengthen your energy, reserve and preserve your energy. Um, I could go on and on. Okay. But like I said, it's 45 plus energy tool recordings, um, a, a bonus journaling guide that you can go through uh, with each of the days. And I also am offering a private group for e-coaching support. So if you have specific questions as you go through it, then you can be a part of that uh, Facebook group. So awesome. Thank you all so much for joining us for these 14 days. We hope that you enjoyed these practices. We hope that you are feeling stronger, more resilient, and ready to take on no matter what comes next. All right. So we hope you have a great rest of your day, and we are here for you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.